I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Atomic Heist. This is the fourth in the 12 days of Let's Quickly Plays, and uh, this game was given to me quite a while ago as a review copy. It's kind of an asteroids slash roguelike space shooter type game. Um, pretty simple, but also very difficult. So let's go to a new mission. And you always start out in this room, which I... I don't think it's entirely necessary, but first thing you have to do is unlock your HUD. That's the first unnecessary thing. Uh, you can actually come over here and uh, choose a few things. Uh, I have unlocked a few upgrades. I have all my slots filled. So I've got increased fire rate, uh, speed, ammo uh, is pretty important, universal units, which I kind of forget what they do. Um, so we'll go with this, and then you have a console here. There is a little bit of customization in this game. Uh, you can change your reticule, the color of it. Uh, it appears to have defaulted back to red for some reason. Um, I imagine you can unlock all of these avatars. And then there's records of what you've done. Um, find records... Oh, no, no, no. So this must be lore then, I guess, or something? Anyway. Uh, completely unnecessary in my opinion. So there's over here a, uh, a daily entrance mode, I guess. Uh, we'll probably show that off because it is a significant difference and so far uh, I've been more successful in this than I have with this ship. So anyway, uh, the premise of the game, I guess, is that we are this little ship going through some kind of weird space station trying to free a core that for some reason uh, the thing is, this introduces the mechanic of radiation, which is, I, I suppose it's kind of like the inbuilt timer, um, because this radiation bar up here will start to dwindle my ship's health. And uh, there are scrubbers and sort of uh, upgrade type things um, that you can get to diminish that. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a ship. So right now I'm very weak. And this is going to be to my detriment, because I am very likely to die just in this first little bit, as I have done about five times so far. This is about as far as I've gotten. Maxed my ammo. So, uh, as you can imagine, I do have the options for multiple types of ammo. Uh, there all, all, are also multiple effects of them. Um, I have right now, I believe, probably radiation damage on, but there are other types. Oh my god, I need to get away from these things. Uh, I am dodging the flames, because the flames actually do damage, and uh, as does the splash from the destruction of ships and whatnot, and it is a very large radius of splash. I'm not a super fan of it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Got some anti-rads. It's nice. Try and avoid blowing the explosive crates up right next to myself. So I'm on low ammo and this is no good for me. But that thing right there is a scrubber. Uh, okay, we'll swap out some rounds. So basically now I have two types of ammunition. I'm gonna get this. This scrubber reduces radiation but it's effectively a uh, a heal station. Wow. Congratulations to myself, I just passed the first level. Oh, and this is my new ammo. Which has not been upgraded at all, so I'm not sure. I, ooh, Jesus. I actually want this at the moment, but it is highly destructive. So I will take that. Select a power-up, sure. Uh, health loss... 15% health loss. Enemy ammo travels slower. 20% less damage to enemies. No recoil. And 40% smaller ammo drops. Boy, none of these are actually good. Uh, I think we're going to say no to this. Um, B? Okay, so there's controls here uh, for joypad, but obviously I'm not playing with a joypad. Ammo maxed for my new ammo type. New avatar unlocked, okay. Uh, that's a little ship going into nowhere. Get some anti-rads. So the anti-rads are basically heal kits. Go, go, go! 
Now it is dangerous to do that, of course, just go charging off into the unknown, because there might just be something there that's absolutely going to kill me. Uh, I do apparently have radar on, so I think that's what that arrow is pointing me towards, is the exit. Ooh, almost got my ass crushed there. We'll go in here, grab some more ammo, and I am maxed out. I appear to have changed my ammo somehow. Or upgraded its effect, anyway. Get some health. Accelerated splinter round. Okay. Now what I think I'm gonna do, aside from run into an enemy, I'm gonna swap out for my base ammo. I'm gonna... get this new ammo type and see what it does. Oh boy! It is indeed splinter ammo. Basically, fires a bunch of rebounding shrapnel everywhere. However, I almost feel like it was doing some damage. Oh no! I didn't blow up that crate. Ah, level 3 appears to be a mini boss level, and we are in the dark, which is loads of fun. But it does, in fact, show where my target's at. So what is this? Select a new power-up. Reduce max health. Radiation damage on each enemy death. Uh, floor fires ignite player rounds, causing splash damage. But I have lower drops. And less damage from enemies with smaller drops. You know, I honestly, the trade-off is severe. I don't think I want any of that. Increase my fire rate a bit. I do have to say, these are pretty interesting rounds, and I think I just saw down there the big guy. Uh, we will just kind of... Man, these are... talk about splash damage. These are crazy. And there's so much of it, oh boy. Oh boy, it just locked me in. Uh, accelerated napalm cells. So what, uh... That's the same thing, right? No. You know what, I think I feel like the elastic rounds... Ah, that's why they bounce around. Let's come down here. I don't know that we need this, actually. It seemed to be doing alright on the rads. Ah, and there appears to be a mini-map in the bottom corner. That is what this is. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Those are strong. Speaking of strong, that is a highly armored ship. Okay. I think I've found my preferred ammo type. I just shoot this down a corridor and splash damage everyone. A little bit cheap. Uh, this is not going to go very well for me, in fact. So we probably need to come around here, because if nothing else, I am rapidly out of ammo. And I feel like what this zone is indicating is that there is a... Uh, I'm probably going to have to swap out... Out of ammo for this. Okay, we will swap to a new flak cartridge. Out of ammo already. Oof. Don't definitely don't want to be sitting there. So it makes me wonder, actually. Let's swap to something I have zero in. It's a universal unit. Maybe I should see what this does before I destroy it? Ah. It completely disables me. Okay, that's an anti-rad. Uh, I'm trying to find some ammo so that I can see if I can... Uh, if, if the ammo recharge is universal, meaning that I can just pick up new ammo for whatever gun is currently equipped.
Okay. It's just a universal unit. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm definitely going in the wrong direction anyhow, so I'm just kind of wasting my time here. Ooh, big nasty. Okay, let's see. Aha! So that's why I probably want to destroy those traps, or make an attempt. Uh, okay. That is a weapon strength upgrade. Ammo strength, I should say. Whew, look at that, though. Look at that. Uh, unbalanced strength cartridge. Strengthened cartridge. And, oh, are you kidding me? Oh no, oh no. Whew. All right, we'll just swap out. Well, you know, I, I guess in a way it is balanced game mechanics that uh, something as effective and destructive as this ammo type uh, is also prone to completely wiping out your ammo supply and uh, therefore you're kind of limiting yourself but uh... holy crap I leveled up I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I'm kind of going through these levels now. Ooh. Is there any way to disrupt those? Does not appear to be. And I'm getting a little too close. A little too close to the explosions. Uh, it's obvious that there is some... Radia hoo -hoo. Radiation damage. Uh, energy frag. Do I want that? Absolutely not with this ammo. We'll just keep going. Um, I just did myself dirty there. Okay, we'll swap out, grab this ammo. There we go. Weakened HDF slug. Interesting. Oh, come on. Fortunately, the uh, AI there was willing to just kind of... Ah willing to just kind of sit there, but only for so long. Well, anyway, I, but yeah, so there, there were just way too many choices there for me to actually, I think, pick an effective strategy. Basically, I was just grabbing whatever was the most destructive and stuck with it. I would imagine that playing enough, you would actually know just by the name what it does and, and all that, but I mean, there's just a lot of overwhelming information there. Uh, anyway, let's get into the actual mission thing again, and what did I unlock? Let's see what I actually unlocked. Looks like these two and this one. And it says I got a new reticule as well. This. I don't think I want that. That's a little awkward to see. Why does it... Why does it reset? You know what? Let's go to, uh... Let's go to green. Blue sometimes is a little bit hard to see in those levels since they do have that uh, that feel to them. Did I get a new ship? Did not, but I got a whole mess of these things. Plus one health. Okay. Missile support. Proximity. Fire rate. Uh, speed. Ammo. And radar is always good. One more, one more. Let me see. There. Start the game with three additional universal units. See, now, I forget what the universal units do. We'll pick, uh, we'll pick missile support this time around. And so now I need to blow that up. I have to start, start the HUD, which is ridiculous. And we're gonna go straight into this daily mode thing. Change your fire rate to conserve ammo. But what fun is that in a shooter game? So, as you see, I start out with a, uh, 
a slightly different ship. Now, I don't know if this is ch changing per day, since apparently this implied that this was a daily thing. So I don't know if it... what it changes exactly. But uh, because of this already upgraded ship, I was doing far, far better. I, I, I'm actually surprised that I managed to make it as far as I did, um, starting with a, a base level ship. Because it was getting to a point where I was uh, literally just, as soon as I entered the level, running into... Um, I probably want that, I think. Running into uh, a ship like this that just completely obliterated me and I just destroyed the thing I wanted to use. As I ran right into an exploding ship. Oh my god. Those ships in particular are incredibly annoying. The ones that just split off and destroy. Got a new avatar for some reason. I'm just gonna stick with this. I seem to be doing alright here. I'll go grab some more ammo. Also unlocked a new reticule. Is it just me, or is this level extremely similar? Mm -hmm. As I just go into all of the enemy ammo. I need to pick up some ammo here. And I am doing miserably against this thing. Probably not a good idea to get engaged with more enemies, but I'm hoping that I can find some pickups out here. And apparently not. I'm just finding a bunch of really tough... Really tough. Let's switch to my base ammo. See what that does. Does much better! Uh, now that is kind of my own fault. Um, the, the tutorial actually does mention that different ammo types have a different effect upon different enemies and one way to tell that is if there is a bunch of yellow sparks I'm not really sure what that means I'm, I'm assuming maybe that's the sparks because I, I honestly just didn't know oh did it just get destroyed I'm assuming that when it turns yellow that's what it means that's what it's talking about because otherwise I have no idea what it means okay we'll just go with that For a 10% speed increase, this ship is actually kind of slow. Apparently I cleared all the enemies in the level, that's good. Uh, ammo strength, balanced splinter round. You know what, let's go ahead and swap that out. Let's see what it does. Let's actually swap so I'm not using my good ammo. Okay, let's see how far this takes me. Electrical bay. Okay. So those must be the yellow sparks then. Unfortunately, all of these seem to be having yellow sparks. So why don't we swap out weapon see if that's more effective. Not really, this appears to have it as well. Swap out for that then. Some kind of pool table or what the hell is this? Uh, out of ammo for that. Ah, let's pick up some ammo. Honestly, the swapping mechanic is a little bit cumbersome. That takes a lot of hits. And this is not very effective ammo for this kind of ship. Fortunately, I don't have anything else. 
Let's just carry on. Okay, nope, I'm gonna get stuck on the terrain. Wow. Whatever that was, it was highly effective against that type of ship, but uh, the explosions were very effective against me. So anyway, uh, that's Atomic Heist. Uh, you know, for a fun little arcade shooter type game, uh, I guess it's alright, but uh, I cannot honestly see myself coming into this daily for any reason whatsoever. Um, but, I mean, I really I really can't complain much for what it is. It's, uh, it's a very simple shooter type game, um, but I do actually appreciate that there is actually a lot of sort of metagame nuance to it. Uh, like I said, there there is just a lot of choices to make with the ammo, and uh, I, I did mention that there was damage type, and that I had only selected the uh, radiation, or I only had the radiation available to me. There were, I think, I think incendiary is another type. Um, so there's there's a lot of choices, and uh, clearly some unlocks, and obviously some things I didn't pick up from the tutorial, um, but, uh, so, so there is actually some depth to it, it is not just some really simple, uh, asteroid clone, I guess, um, and I, I do like the, the fact that you can pick up so many different types of upgrades, uh, that, you know, it really does, it, it really does change the play style. Um, you know, as we saw on that screen there, I had already unlocked, like, what, nine by now? Uh, but there looked like there were several dozen choices, and I imagine that all of those, and, and especially with the uh, different ship types, um, that would really change the playstyle. What I'm interested in, though, is does the game adapt to that, or do you always start out with the same level of enemies? Um... One thing I, I do have an, an issue with, though, was, you know, on the fly like that, seeing which ammo is effective. Like, the, the, the spark thing, kind of trying to indicate that this is not effective ammo, that was a little hard to tell, but it also is information that, at least for me, uh, was kind of useless, because I've got two choices of ammo, and I'm just using whatever I have ammo for. You know what I mean? I, like, I I did not know enough to make a conscious decision that, oh, I'm carrying napalm and frags or flak ammo, and that's good against this type of ship and all that. I mean, that's... Uh, on the one hand, I appreciate the nuance. On the other hand, for this type of game, I'm not really sure that that many choices is appropriate and or necessary. Uh, but it's there if you're into that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.